out so today I feel this really nice purpley smoky eye which is a good change for my normal brown smoky eye so if you guys want to see how to recreate this look please keep watching hey guys so we're on to another tutorial woo, woo. as always I have my base on already and my eyebrows on if you guys want to see how I do my flawless base highlight and contour and also my eyebrows I do have separate videos on that because otherwise my tutorials will take so goddamn long so recently guys I just received a PR package from Selfridges which I was not expecting whatsoever but they just launched new brands in the Selfridges and if you guys haven't been to Selfridges before you need to go because it's like the closest thing that we have to Sephora in the UK the Selfridges beauty hall is amazing and they also have a bit at the back which is like their workshop bit and there's like, amazing brands like Zoeva there there's Ilamasco, NYX like shebang shebang all the brand new products are back there as well so make sure you go check them out so a brand new brand that's just come to Selfridges is Natasha Denona. Whenever I go into Sephora, I always go to the Natasha Denona stand because her eyeshadows honestly feel like butter. Like it's so smooth, it's unbelievable. I do know that this eyeshadow palette is super, super expensive, but I thought maybe I will do like a look and you guys can recreate it with any other eyeshadow that you have already. So I'm just gonna be living my best life with my Natasha Denona palette. Okay. So this palette is the blue and purple eyeshadow palette 28. It is all nice and painted and white. I haven't had a white palette for so long. But because it's painted, you can easily wipe off a little baby wipe if it gets dirty, you know? So inside, this is all the goodness that we have here. I, 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 I feel so happy to get this right now. I remember once I got reposted by Natasha Denona and I was like, oh! She's noticed me. And I think I remember watching Nikki Tutorials post about her eyeshadow palettes. And then ever since then, I've been like, I want to try her products so badly. Okay, so you have a clear film right here. And then to flip it up, you have an amazing array of shades plus mattes plus loads of shimmer. And let me tell you guys, the formulation of this is just so freaking buttery. But obviously, it's so expensive. So you best expect it's going to be buttery. But look. Um, I am actually going out tonight for an event so I want to do something quite smoky tonight I'm just wearing plain black there was this color in here that looks really really cute it's this one and I was like oh this color is so pretty it's like purple but it kind of like moves a bit to burgundy when you change it into the light so I think if we do like a really smoky eye with this kind of shade it'll be super cute I want to do like a burgundy purpley eye so that's the kind of vibe we're going for today so I'm going to start off with a base on my eyes and I'm actually going to start off with this from Stila I've been wanting to use it for a while but I haven't got an opportunity to use it yet so this is from Stila it's one of the magnificent metals and it's in the shade Pig Ale Pig Ale what a weird name. Okay. And it's like a really nice cute burgundy shade. So we're going to put this all over the eyes. And then when you put that purple shade on top, it's just going to pop even more, you know. So I'm just putting some on my eyes. Just straight up in there. Mainly on my eyelid. And then I'm just going to buff it out with a My Kit Co fluffy concealer brush in... Zero 03 because it's more of a cream based product i always like to use a synthetic brush to kind of blend out the edges i find synthetic blends out cream so much better so this is just mainly giving the eyeshadow a base to work with i always find when you put like a dark base on when you put the eyeshadow on top especially if it's shimmery it pops it even more i don't know why it always works out when i am filming a tutorial that's when everyone messages me when i'm on my phone my phone is fucking dry okay so i'm just working this all over the eyes this is quite cool i don't know if you can see but when you pat it on it kind of goes more metallic and then when you blend out it goes more into like a matte purple i'm gonna try the other eye just to use a brush maybe i won't get no harsh lines like this i feel like this one's a bit fucking harsh i feel like everyone is doing the met looks recently like recreating all the looks from the met gala i kind of feel like I did want to do something like that, but I feel like everyone is doing that now. Everyone's doing like Selena Gomez or Kim Kardashian. So maybe I'll just leave that for the professionals to do. Okay, so I actually prefer it when I use a brush to blend out rather than putting this straight on my eye. Because I feel like here it's a bit harsh now. With a brush, you've always got that seamless blend. As long as you keep your brush moving, it's always going to be quite smooth. Because this sets quite quickly. And then once it sets, it's 
you can set in stone you can't blend it out okay so just blend that stealer product out on my eyes and i actually quite like it like this guys so i'm gonna be working with quite a few other eyeshadows the only thing i would probably say that's missing from this palette is like a good transition shade and the only kind of like transition shade you can use is kind of like this but it's quite dark so um let's just try a little bit of this i'm just gonna work this just on the outer corners and this is using a big Morphe M504 brush, one of my favourite brushes. I would only recommend this brush actually though if you have a big eyelid space because it's quite a big brush like. So I'm just using the blending brush, just go on the outer corners. I'm just going to make sure that I get my transition on fleek first before I start to put on any shimmers. Once you put the shimmers and you start blending it out, it doesn't go on as boldly anymore. If you hear tapping behind me, Guang is literally editing like on the freaking laptop. Okay, so I'm literally going back and forth with this brush, but I'm literally putting on the eyeshadow really lightly because I don't want it to be like all brown up here. Because the transition shade is quite a dark shade, you want to make sure you tap really lightly on the brush. Or if you have a transition shade from another palette, go ahead and use that. Okay, so I've literally just blended with that one eyeshadow shade all over on the outer corners here. And I'm actually surprised at how light this shade went when I blended it out because I thought it would be a lot darker but I actually really like it. I think the brush has definitely helped because it kind of gave me more of a lighter wash. I think if I use more of a smaller brush it would be a lot more concentrated and a lot darker. I'm just going to start working on underneath my lash line. If you guys haven't been on my channel before you guys haven't seen but I like quite a smoky underneath my eyes and it's like an evening event as well so I want it to be quite intense. So I'm going to start using my Marc Jacobs eyeliner in plumage and it's one of my favourite eyeliners that like i literally stand by mark jacobs eyeliner so much they don't budge they have amazing shades they glide on so well without tugging the eye okay so i'm just gonna work this right underneath my bottom lash line i've also noticed that makeup geek have just brought out new eyeshadows as well so if you guys want me to film a makeup look using their eyeshadows comment below give this video a thumbs up if you guys haven't noticed what well, i cut down all my nails so they're really short now but i can literally get right up in there without my nail getting in the way anymore but something I've definitely noticed now that I've cut my nails. And I've always had long nails ever since I had my nose surgery. But now, guys, I can't pick my nose. Like, literally, my nostril now is so small, I can only get barely in there with my little finger. Before, I had some wide-ass nostrils. I could have put my whole fucking big toe in there and pick out the fucking bogeys. And now, I have small nostrils now. The struggle's real. Okay, so now that I've got that pencil on, I'm going to start to blend that out as well. So I'm going to use a metallic shade, actually, which I don't think I've ever done before. Let's try it out. Guys, I have so many brushes but I always feel like I need more brushes. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. Okay, so I'm literally working this colour all up in here and I'm blending this sucker out to make it really nice and smoky below. Okay, so I buffed it all out, but I still don't feel that it's as intense as how I want it to be, but we're gonna fix that up a bit later. Um, I'm gonna go in with another Morphe brush, the M433 brush, and then I'm gonna use this matte shade right here. It's actually a really pretty kind of like dark burgundy purple shade. Something I noticed about the eyeshadows, they are a bit chalky. So it kind of means that it has a lot of pigment in there. Okay, so I'm just going to tilt my head and look down. And I'm going to go right in this crease here. And I really want to etch this out. So it's really nice and smoky and dark. And you normally want to put more matte shades right inside this crease. Because it will give you more depth to your eye. And it will kind of look more like a shadow. Oh my god, I already have fallout. On my cheekbone. This is why you have to make sure you powder really well, guys. Because if you sweep like that and your foundation is all tacky, it will freaking ruin everything. It will go tits up, guys. Okay, so I'm just literally doing circular motions right outside this outer corner here. And I'm slowly sweeping it in. And then I'm just going to blend it underneath as well to start smoking everything out below. So I'm literally just keep dipping in, like literally one or two dabs. And then slowly working that product because it's so pigmented. You don't want to like swirl your brush onto the palette with me because you'll just end up wasting a lot of eyeshadow that you paid a lot of money for this goddamn palette. Oh my god, there's so much fallout on my cheekbone right now. Ruining my highlighter beauty. Okay, and then also I'm going to dip my brush into this other shade here. The slightly lighter shade. Just mix these two slightly together. And then I'm just going to slowly buff out on the outer corners as well just to make it look a bit more purpley just like that and then we'll do the same on the other eye if you guys want it less smoky than this you maybe use a slightly bigger brush and you can still just like carve out the crease slightly i like my crease really really dark and smoky okay and then on my brush i'm going to pick up a synthetic brush this is the mac 239 if you guys don't know mac switched all of their brushes to synthetic now um and i'm going to use a makeup forever mist and fix 
spray or you can use like a fix plus or any water spray really and then i'm going to dab a little bit of this shade right here that we used on my bottom lash line earlier and you want to kind of make sure it's synthetic because the synthetic fibers pick up pigment so much better and i'm literally working this all over my lid so i'm literally like dabbing this on all over and it's just making it a lot more smoky and intense especially when it's slightly damp the brush so because i have that base on underneath it just goes on a lot stronger than if i was going to put on just like plain blank skin i'm literally just like tapping this on and like sweeping in quite harsh so like sweeping it all over really pushing in that pigment the more you crush it i find the more pigmented and more shiny the product gets I'm going to grab a little bit on my finger as well and push it on. It might even go on a bit stronger. This is why I miss having no nail sometimes because I could just get up right in there. Okay, next up I'm going to go in with a rose gold shade, which is this one right in the middle here. It's a Huda Beauty eyeshadow that's really similar like this in her rose gold palette. I'm just going to pop this on the inner corners because I feel like my eyes are getting really, really smoky and it's looking quite dark. So I want to bring back light into the eye. So by adding this on the inner corners, it just gives it extra brightness okay so i really like that gold on the inner corners i'm gonna go in with some eyeliner next this is a brand new eyeliner that i received a while back but i haven't used it and it's the rainbows of the sea so fine micro eyeliner and it's a really really micro fine liner literally as it says it's so tiny the nib is itty bitty so anyone with monolid eyes or small eyelids you will love this this eyeliner is so dark all the tart eyelids are amazing and i'm literally just like working this just a lightly on my lash line i just do that small dab and then slowly join the dabs together and then i'm going to do a slight wing as well and then blend all of this together i can always do this wing but when i do this eye i find it so much harder okay so that's my eyeliner on i'm just going to put some mascara i do the other eye and some lashes and i'll be back okay guys so i just put on some lashes this is mykonos by lily lashes you guys know one of my faves i do feel like because i'm going on the evening i want a bit of glitter so i'm going to add a rose gold glitter from lit cosmetics called oprah just on the inner corners right here and i'm just going to use a bit of clear lash glue this is the tart lash glue put on a little bit on my finger here i need a new glitter glue recommendation guys because i always just use the same one so any recommendations will be great I just feel like glitter makes everything better guys for this look i was thinking should i go for like a dark lip or should i go for like a nudie lip i feel like the eyes are so freaking smoky that maybe i'm gonna go for like a nude lip i just got a new lip color in the mail so i might use this so this is from a brand called Rincon. I think it's a new brand that Beauty Bay just launched on the website. And it's called Flan. And it's in collaboration with a lady called Miriam Diaz. Diaz? I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, girl. And it's like a really nice pinky kind of nudie shade. I'm just going to wipe this all over my lips. I'm, I'm literally in such a rush right now. It's crazy. So this is a brand I've literally never heard of before. Never tried this stuff, but it's really pigmented actually it goes on really smooth so just on my skin i'm gonna put on a fix plus spray this is a brand new one it's called fix plus gold light right now i haven't really mixed it up yet but you can kind of see like the pigments all gathered up here and then you shake it there's like a ball in there and then look you guys see all that gold flecks in here yes okay so i'm just gonna spray this all over the nozzle is a bit strong. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna quickly get changed and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. Do you guys like my earrings? This liquid lipstick actually feels really, really nice. It's not sticky or tacky or anything like that, so I feel like it's gonna last a really, really long time on the lips, which is great. If you guys haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. Also, make sure to follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweedly on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Wait. What is it? Is it pretty old thing? Beauty Bay. I haven't ordered anything from Beauty Bay. I quite like it because it's just. Ah! Okay, so inside. Five people have replied back to me now. Okay, no more phone for now. Okay, my phone's going wild. Okay, so in.